Well, don't you have to ask me the oh, question. Oh, yeah, where's the, where's the sheet? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, um, our theme, there we go. Okay. Mr. Cajun, our theme this year has been a walk that's worthy. What does a walk that's worthy entail? Well, that uh, phrase is taken out of uh, the book of Colossians, chapter 1. Paul prayed for the Colossians that they might walk worthy of the Lord uh, unto all pleasing. Uh, to walk worthy of the Lord means to walk in consistency with God's character and God's will. And uh, Paul's prayer is that uh, they might be filled with the knowledge of his will so that they would be able to walk worthy of the Lord. In other words, you can't walk worthy of the Lord and please the Lord unless you know what the Lord's will is. And so he wants them to be filled with the knowledge of God's will and all spiritual wisdom and uh, uh, understanding. And he also says that uh, if they do walk worthy of the Lord and they do please the Lord, then this will enable them to uh, bear fruit in every good work, to uh, increase more in the knowledge of God, and also to be strong uh, in the Lord. I think it entails all of those things. Okay, thanks. Okay, and number two, what is your favorite verse of scripture and why? Well, I really don't have one particular favorite verse of scripture. I've had a lot of favorite verses of scriptures through the years, and um, as I've had certain kinds of needs, various scriptures have come to mind to help me in those needs. I suppose one verse I think about every day when I get up in the morning is Hebrews chapter 4, uh, verse 16, where the author says, Let us come boldly to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So that's the first thing that's on my mind in the morning. Uh, I'm conscious of the fact that I'm weak as a, as a believer and that I need God's mercy and I need God's grace to help me uh, throughout the day. So the first thing I do in the morning is to pray about that. But um, Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7 are also very uh, precious to me because I've had lots of anxiety in my life and especially in the last year. And uh, the teaching of, uh, of Paul that we're not to be anxious about anything but we're to pray about everything has been very comforting and very... Uh, stimulating to me. Uh, what I've needed is the peace of God that passes all understanding to keep my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. And so those two verses have been very helpful to me to trust the Lord rather than to be anxious. Okay. And can you express to us one thing the Lord taught you through your ordeal with cancer this past year? Well, I guess the Lord has taught me a lot of things and uh, maybe he's reminded me of more things that I've known for a long time that he's taught me uh, terms of new things, but I think the Lord has uh, helped me to have a greater trust in Him, uh, to trust His wisdom and not to lean so much to my own understanding. Uh, I think the Lord has uh, just given me a, a great appreciation for the people of God when I think of all the male students and faculty and staff members and uh, people from ARBC and ACC who have uh, shown uh, love to me and to my to my family I, I just I'm just tremendously grateful uh, for all of this and I think that when we're in tight spots or in difficult situations the people of God really come through for you and uh, that's certainly been my case I would say uh, if the biggest thing is that I've learned to appreciate God's people more and more okay thank you so much is that sufficient? Yep, that's great.